Hey, I'm Max from BBC School Report, SJWMS. Today, we will be doing stories, school shooting walkout, are we being poisoned by plastic, how to spot fake news, and Coca-Cola's new alcoholic drink. Thank you for watching. This is Max and Matt from the BBC School Report, SJWMS, and today we're going to be reporting on gun control in the US and how it has affected others. Following the recent events of school shootings, schools across America have participated in walkouts to protest against the shootings. They did a 17 minute silence to honour the children who tragically lost their lives. Do you think guns in the US should be banned? Uh, no, I don't. It's appalling at how some people um, use them in a bad way, but the people that use them in a, like, uh, just for their own security, I think it's perfectly fine. Do you think guns in the US should be banned? Um, yeah, because because the people kill them. Like, they're using guns to <laughs> murder people, and that's, like, illegal and stuff. Do you think guns in the US should be banned? Yes. Why? Because they're just annoying. Whenever the news comes on, there's always something about guns. I don't know why it happens. Yeah. Yeah, but. Well, what did you think of that? Email us at SJWMS BBC School Report at gmail.com. I've been Adam, and we want to thank you guys for watching our report. We hope to see you in the next one. Plastic. All of these products are made of the material. Therefore, most of them are made from BPA, a chemical found in plastics, which has been found to seep into food and beverages from their containers, which may also include microplastics, which cannot be seen when drinking. It may lead to harming in the body, as well as being oblivious at first. So, what is the problem? 90% of us have BPA in our bodies. It can cause brain and behaviour problems, cancer, heart problems and increased risk to children when pregnant. For example, 60 billion plastic bottles were used in the US alone last year. Consider a hypothetical question. What if the students knew truly what they were putting into their bodies? Would they opt for the big brands or just their local tap water? Let's find out. Firstly, I'd still drink bottled water, but that's because I don't like plain water. I cannot drink it. I don't know why. But I just think bottled water is more tasteful, but I don't know if that's better because if it tastes different from tap water, clearly there's something wrong with it. I think I would probably prefer um, tap water which is filtered because if it's filtered then it would be completely safe to drink, whereas if there is a risk to get cancer in the plastic bottles, that would put my life at risk, whereas the tap water which is filtered wouldn't do any harm to me, so I would prefer tap water. Now let's see what a professional has to say on the risks of consuming microplastics. There's a direct physical risk which is associated with organisms which are both able to inject and unlikely to cause any harm to humans because of course we chew our food and we spit out things like that. Yeah. So it's not really a big issue for humans. Where the issue for humans comes is the fact that uh, microplastics can also be very small. By microplastics could be having a reasonable BPA free bottle, a water purifier, and drinking tap water as it is purified by the water company. I'm Ryan from BBC School Report and thank you for watching. So, in the current year 2018, many people have been bamboozled by fake news and media on the internet. Sometimes it can be very difficult for young people to spot what is real and what is not on the internet. Internet being used 24-7 means that many stories are written without any evidence or any sources. Let's have a look at some fake news. Bazinga! We're in the land of fake news. Now, let's see if we can spot the fake news from the real news. The first thing you need to consider is the source of the article. If it's untrustworthy or if there isn't any, then you obviously know that it's fake news. Step two, read beyond the headline. Is it outrageous? Is it just for the clicks? Step three, check the author. Are they real? Are they credible? Or are they fake? Step four, are there supporting sources? 
Check the links. Does it meet the evidence to make the article? Or is it fake news? Step five, check the date. Is the story relevant, old, or even fake? Step six, is it a joke? Satirical websites such as theonion.com make fake news stories for the purpose of humour. This is fake news. Step seven, check the opinions of the news. Even if you disagree with it, doesn't mean it's fake. <coughs> Step 8. If you're unsure if the source is fake or not, ask the experts on the subject matter. Now you know the 8 ways of spotting fake news, and you won't be fooled. Multi-billionaire, 132-year-old Universal soft drink company, Coca-Cola, have decided to release their first alcoholic drink in Japan, called Chuhi Alcapops. This drink will be a Coca-Cola's own version of Chuhi, a flavoured sparkling drink. Despite the escalating profits, and a greater variety of products. Is this idea ethical? Will it lead to more problems with drinking? Let's have a look at what students and teachers at the math think about this. Is it worth putting the youth's health at risk for maximizing profits? I would have to say yes, mainly because um, one of the companies such as Yazoo will not be able to gain as much customers. In fact, they will lose their customers. Do you think they should release this alcoholic drink? I don't think there should be an, a Coke, uh, an alcoholic Coke, because like, there's already like sugarous Cokes and stuff. What effect do you think this will have on younger people as they are fond of Coca-Cola? Uh, yeah, I think it's quite worrying because obviously you've got two aspects. One, that people, uh, young people might not see the kind of the dangers of drinking alcoholic drinks because they might see it in the same light as drinking Coca-Cola regularly, but also that young children might drink it without even realising that it's an alcoholic drink and just thinking that it's a, a carbonated drink that they would usually have. So what's your opinion on Coca-Cola releasing their new drink? Email us at sjwms BBC School Report at gmail.com. I've been Adam from SJWMS BBC School Report. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Well, now you know what it's like to be a teenager. Whether you're going to be a teenager or you've already been a teenager. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any queries, contact us at SJWMS BBC School Report at gmail.com. Thanks.